So, our trip to the beach is in a bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? A completely stuck kind of trouble. In fact, I don't think we're going to make it home. <gasps> in time for dinner. <sighs> Captain, Quasi, where are you? Stuck in a rock pool. We were so busy exploring that when the tide went out, it left us in. We'll just have to make the best of it. Ow! Did anyone bring a beach ball? All kinds of creatures get stranded in rock pools until the tide comes back in to free them. Look at this beautiful shell. We'll have to wait here for an hour until the tide brings the water back in again. Peso, you're in charge until we get back. Me? Righto, Captain. I need you to keep a watch on things until we get back to the octopod. I'll, I'll do my best to keep everything under control here. You can do it, Peso. Barnacle's out. Sorry, we'll play again later. Right now, I have to get to HQ. <laughs> Looks nice and calm out there. That's good. Let's check the radar, Tweak. I don't see anything unusual on the radar. Hmm. That's good. Let's listen for any unusual sounds coming from outside the octopod. No unusual sounds out there. That's good. That's not good. It sounds like a, a creature who needs help. We, we've got to do something, Tweak. We've got to, to... Sound the octo alert? Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, I've got to find whatever's making that noise. Don't forget to use the camera on the gup. Yes, so we can see what you see out there. Remember now, we're right here, ready to help you. Um, Peso? Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Open the Octo hatch, please. You got it, Peso. Well, Professor, Peso may be a little shaky, but he's doing fine. Yes, Peso's never too frightened to help. Once he's learned that something might be in danger, nothing stops him. Has to be nearby. I hear it, but I don't see anything. Hey, so here's the camera to help you look. Righto. Whoa! Oh, flappity flippers, what's that? Hmm, I believe it's a hermit crab. Not dangerous, but very unhappy at the moment. Right, time for a checkup. Hello, my name is Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. Can you tell me your name, please? Oh. Get me out. Okay, Mr. Get me out. Oh. Now this won't hurt a bit. 
Oh, my name's not Gemmy Oat. I want you to get me out of this shell. I'm... Oh, stop! <gasps> Ow! Oh, it's no use. Here, maybe I can pull you out. No! Oh, ow, that hurts! Sorry. Oh, I told you it was no use. Don't worry. We'll get you out of that shell somehow. I know someone who can help us. What do you think, Tweak? I'll cut open a shell with my Octo Slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. Uh, here. Uh, now what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one. And that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell. Grow up, get bigger. And then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, I've never performed a crabectomy before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crabectomy once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Aye, aye, Captain. Step one, steady the shell. Step two, fasten the hose. Step three, Prepare landing pad. Ready, Tweak? I really hope this works. Me too. <clears throat> Captain, we're ready for the crabectomy. All right, Peso. This should take five big pumps of air to push him out. You'll have to really put some muscle into it. <laughs> Flippers in place, Captain. All right. On my count. Five. <laughs> four. <laughs> three. <laughs> oh, two. <laughs> one. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah! Well done, Octonauts. And especially you, Peso. Your first crabectomy. Thanks, Captain. How are things in the rock pool? It looks like the tide's coming in. Octonauts, we're going home. Yo! Where did he go? It's perfect. Uh -huh. Thanks for the new shell. See ya. Oh. So, now he's got my old shell. But what about me? No shell, no protection, no nothing. I'm naked. What am I going to do? Hmm. <gasps> it's the Gup A. They're back. Hey, so. Ta-da! Oh, how's this? Oh, 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 lovely. Home sweet home. I think that should last you a while. <laughs> if you need someone to decorate your new home, we do know a decorator crab.
<laughs> Sorry, Quasi. I'm on my way down to see who's at the door. Who could be knocking at this hour? I'll let you know after I answer it. Why don't I answer it? Mm, thanks, but I've got it. Last one to the door's a rotten fish head, Captain. You're on. me. Hmm. Huh? Dudes, I'm down here. Huh? Oh, hello. What seems to be the trouble? OK, look, there's some kind of creature back at the reef that's half crab, half sea urchin and totally loud. None of us sea snails can get any sleep. We're, like, totally stressing. We need someone big to come to the reef and ask him to quieten down. I'm, I'm on it. it. I'm happy to take care of this, Quasi. You go back to sleep. That's kind of you, Captain, but you go back to sleep. No, you go back to sleep. Sleep? Pirates are made for nighttime adventures. Look, I'm sure you could handle it, but I'm not sure you should handle it. Aye, but if I could handle it, then I would handle it, which means I should handle it, because... All right, we'll both go. Fine. We don't need to wake everybody up. Quasi, sound the octo alert, but just in the launch bay. Tweak to the launch bay. <laughs> Tweak, this little snail needs our help. We need to head out to the reef. <sighs> aye, aye, Cap. I'll drive. So will I. We'll see you at the reef. And I'll get there first. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. Tweak, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Instead of just going fast, I picked the straightest route. Now, show us the way. Over there by the rocks, eh? I, I don't see a point. The point is that I'm always the one protecting you. Well, I'm always the one who finds all the food while well, you just sit there. I don't just sit here. I do stuff. I protect you. I get... I, I... Wow! This snail was right! It is half crab and half sea urchin. Hmm. Let's call Shellington and find out if he's ever seen anything like this before. <laughs> Uh, hello? Sorry to wake you, Shellington, but we need your help. Take a look at this. What is this strange creature? Uh, oh, well, Captain, it's two separate creatures. It's a crab with a sea urchin stuck to its shell. But why are they stuck together like that? Uh, uh, because of symbiosis. Symbi what? Symbiosis. When two creatures live very close together because they need each other for different reasons. The urchin needs the crab for food, and the crab <sighs> needs the urchin for protection. Right. Thanks, Shellington. I put food on the table. What do you do? I eat it. I'll just ask the crab now? and the urchin to be quiet. What? Easy. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin. We're lost, we're lost. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Uh -huh. You said go left. I said go right. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Did? Did? Didn't. Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin, there's a problem. He's, He's the, the problem. problem. You're the problem. I'm not the problem. Yes, you are. You're the problem. Now do you see what I mean? It's a problem. You can't even spell problem. You don't appreciate the fact that I carry you around and feed you all day. And you don't appreciate the fact that I keep you safe. Oi, keep it down where we are. Ah! Ah, run away! 
Now where was I? Oh yeah, I protect you from troublemakers like that. I'm sorry, I, I don't see your point. I got a lot of points, I'm an urchin. Hold on, please. You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. It's oh, you're Captain, too loud. You're too maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <sighs> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a uh, fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh... Well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I look scary. Nobody mess with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. Nah, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Ah, uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks? Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Ah. Uh. I don't have a plan, but I do know someone who's always good at coming up with one. Let's go and find Captain Barnacles. <laughs> now, raise your claws and say, Grr. Grr. Oh, I'm no good at this. It's all about attitude and confidence. And my friend Quasi could show you a thing or two about that. He doesn't let anything get in his way. Come on, let's go and find him. I missed you, buddy. I really did. So, you're happy to be back together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize until now how much I need you. And I didn't realize how much I need you. Thanks, Thanks for, for your help, help Octonauts. See ya! Ah! 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 Run away! Hi. Those two are better off together than apart, Captain. That's symbiosis. Yow! Race you back to the octopod? Hey, you're on. The sucker on your fin is healing nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hitch rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> You've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. I, I'm trying, but 
Oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Cap, what about... Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh, oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. <laughs> well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow. Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the remora? <laughs> This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning, you must wait until I'm finished with shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now. Don't jump, my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <laughs> <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! Thanks for saving my sealskin barnacles. 
But it's a good thing that shark chaser's over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get that picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Peso, go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppe. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big, pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbour seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on, I'll just grab a quick breath. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no, snapping shrimp! <laughs> yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peso! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snap first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody, stop snapping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine, but where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, chaps! <laughs> okay, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Aha! There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Peso! Let's go! He's first, but we're catching up, mateys. I can't get unstuck! Don't worry, we're coming for you. Catch me if you can. Whoa! He's making a getaway. Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air. He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. <laughs> Ready? Ready. There they are. <laughs> Can't get unstuck. No. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Oh, can't reach. I'll have to do this on the fly. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha! We've got our fish. Wow. And our penguin, too. <laughs> Just a few more days in the sick bay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. <laughs> Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Captain, are you there? Come in, Dashy. There's a dangerous storm approaching, and there's going to be a lot of lightning. And when lightning strikes the ocean, the electricity spreads out through the water near the surface. So even if it doesn't hit you directly, you can still get set. Thanks for the warning. I'm heading to deeper waters right now. Barnacles out. Whoa, a 
I've been hit. Whoa, a manatee. More manatees. Hey. Whoa, man, what's the hurry? Time for an emergency landing. Whoa, make that a crash landing. Clam, I think you have something that belongs to me, and I'm gonna need it back. In that case, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Hmm. This could take a while. Uh-oh, sounds like more lightning, and it's heading straight for those manatees. Time to sound the octo- Can't uh, quite reach. Aha, a sticky limpet. And a little seaweed. Uh, yeah. Bullseye. <laughs> Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts. The lightning storm is heading straight for a herd of manatees. We need to get them to safety. Are you with the manatees now, Captain? Um, not exactly, Peso. I'm sort of, um, stuck. Uh, doing something else at the moment. But I'll guide the mission from here. The lightning storm's picking up speed, Captain. Keep tracking it, Dashy. Everyone, let's move those manatees to deeper water. Captain, wait! Go ahead, Shellyfish. I mean, uh, Jellington. I mean, Shellington. The manatees breathe air, Captain. They can only be underwater for a few minutes before they need to take a breath. So, the manatees will need to be moved somewhere they can breathe. Then we'd better lead them back to the Ouchopod. The Ouchopod? I meant to say, get all those manatees inside the Octopod now. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, to the cups. Yow! I'm digging this air today. You said it, ma'am. Nothing beats a little fresh air. Captain, we've arrived on the scene. Good. Then get those manatees moving. Aye, aye, Captain. Tunip, come in. Super trouble. Tunip, the manatees will need something to eat. Gather as much sea grass as you can and bring it to the launch bo- uh oh Super. Uh, nothing to worry about, Tunip. Just get the seagrass. Hmm. Hmm. Hungry barracudas. I better make myself invisible. Ahoy, manatees! There's a dangerous lightning storm approaching. We're here to lead you to safety. Sure thing, man. No problem. We're happy to go with that flow. Everybody, climb onto a gup, and we'll drive you down to the octopod. Here we go. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. They're moving very slowly. Oi, how do they ever catch any fish to eat? Fish? No way, man. We're vegetarians. We only eat plants. We never have to chase after our food, so we like to do things nice and easy. <sighs> Come in, Captain. Go ahead, Quasi. This is going to be trickier than we thought. The manatees are really slow. And they're a little disorganized. Well, you've got to get them organized. Line the manatees up and get them onto the gups one by one. Shiny. I've got to go. I'm sure I saw something shiny around here. Shiny, shiny, shiny. 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 The lightning's getting closer. We need to get these manatees to safety fast. Hello, sir. You'll go to the Gub D with Dashy. Cool. Ma'am, hi there. You'll go to the Gub E with Peso. All right. Sir, Quasi here will be your driver on the Gub X. Hi. Climb aboard, matey. Hop on top. Oh, smooth ride, man. I think that's all we can fit. That's okay. I'll wait here. You can get me on the next trip. 
Don't worry, we'll be right back. Come on, mateys, to the octopod! <laughs> One way out of this. Captain, almost all the manatees are safe inside the octopod. Only one left. Good work, ah, Peso. The lightning is now right over the last manatee. Oh dear, Captain, I don't know if we can get her back to the octopod in time. Whoa! I know, it's serious. It's not too late to save her, is it? Yes! It is! No! Uh, I mean, we'll rescue the last manatee. Bring the Gup D and the Gup C to the surface and call me when you get there. Oh. Mm, my air tank is almost empty. I won't be able to breathe down here much longer. Manatees don't usually say this, but hurry, man! Captain, we've arrived at the surface. Good. Now flip the Gupti over and open the windscreen. This will create an air pocket so the manatee can breathe. Then tow it deep underwater, away from the lightning. Aye, Captain. I've got to get my paw out of this clam before I run out of air. Ah! 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 Oh. Can you breathe all right in there? Oh, yeah. This is far out, man. Good. Now let's go. Almost empty. Captain, it worked! The last manatee is safe! <laughs> Captain? <laughs> Captain, are you all right? <laughs> <sighs> I'm fine. How are you? I'm cool, man. Captain, the storm is passing. Thanks, Dashie. Now all the manatees can be released. Tweak, open the octo hatch. So long, manatees. Bye bye. Come on, guys. Let's go breathe some fresh air. That's some nice air. Good work today, everyone. But what about you, Captain? Yeah, what happened down there? Oh, let's see. I was uh, struck by lightning, eaten by a giant clam, stung by a jellyfish, attacked by barracudas, escaped on the back of a blue whale, smashed into a shipwreck, freed myself, ran out of air, and, uh, oh, yeah, found you. Oh, man. Yeah, pulling me poor. Manatee flippers. So quasi. This video coming in from Dashi. She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of kelp. Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew. Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh, whoa. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashi should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. 
And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. Oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gum is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad, no! Dad! Dad! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh, Dad, oh no! Just keep calm and blend in. Uh, uh, well done. You're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. Hmm, looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed! <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time! Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. <gasps> the other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew. Now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate. <laughs> Duck! Chop! a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashie, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor? <gasps> Leafy sea dragons! I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gap, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashy, you take the sick bay. Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, let's do this. Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm. No sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see. Who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! Yeah. 
to the kitchen. Chop. Chop. Help. Oil. The last little bit of kelp coming up, mateys. Oh, nowhere to hide. What's pirate for don't eat me? Stop that stew. <laughs> what did you say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp. What? Where? In your paw. Shiver me whiskers. Do your worst, pirate. But, but don't hurt us. I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find her a dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad. Now, where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the Gut E followed back to the octopod. So the Dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, Leafy Sea Dragons, into the guppe. A Leafy Sea Dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your Octo Goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp, kelp. More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh, no! He's getting away from us! Don't worry. We'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! Boys, oh, we've all had quite an adventure. Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys, let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. 